do me a favor, send me this recording because I really like it. I will do. Thank you. Um, so do you see, I want you to, while you're, you see, my mentor used to say money is never an objection to doing business if the need is great enough. I've had people in real estate deals and in, in consulting and stuff, when they, I created enough of an emotional need, they sold their motorcycle, their wife's wedding ring. They sent me, uh, one guy sent me a, um, oh God, a, a, a maquette, a statue from Remington, uh, an original. Uh, one guy sent me a double eagle gold coin. It was worth $4,800. Wow. You know? Yeah, it was, he used it just to, just to pay for uh, because they got so emotionally involved. Now you still have to go intellectual. You still got to talk about payments and money and transaction and contracts and appointments. Those are the intellectual things. But the decision will be made up front in the beginning um, just by uh, making it emotional enough. Yeah, and the, the real interesting thing about that, I haven't really thought about painting that picture in words before, but you usually think about having a conversation with somebody, right? They're either answering your questions or you're answering their questions and you should be doing less of answering their questions. This is like a third way of communicating. You're not directly talking about the sale, but you're talking about everything related around it. And it's really not about the sale per se. It's about everything surrounding the sale and making that picture very clear to the person, like you're almost showing them something. The, we talked about this on Monday. I just made a note on this. I'm going to make a, a video. I'm going to make a video on this. Um, we talked about the prospect system. The prospect actually has a system. They want to call you up. They want to call up your competitors. They want to pick your brain. They want to get as much information as possible. And then they want to make a decision. Who's the cheapest, the fastest, the biggest, the brightest, and everything. Because everybody's selling intellectually, academically. You go to buy a car, you're looking for the same or similar for the lowest price, right? Right. Okay. Guts is about making it so emotional that the price is gone. The price is not the, man, is not the priority. Okay, I closed the cattle. I got a new lease yesterday. I, uh, oh, there's no cars available. I, there's no cars available. I got a car, brand yeah. new 2022 Cadillac yesterday for my price and terms. Okay, I got my monthly payments from twelve hundred to five hundred dollars yesterday. <laughs> wow. my and, yeah, um, and it was um, my car, my two year car. Uh, was uh, had a purchase price of thirty three thousand dollars, but it has a street value of uh, fifty five. Right. Because there's no cars available, and this car is cherry, seventeen thousand miles on it. Um, and anyway, so I negotiated with the dealer. How much? I'm going to give you the car. You're going to resell it, make a fortune uh, on it. How much are you going to give me towards my thing? And he said, you know, we. We said 580, 550. I said, I'll give you 500. I want additional insur insurance, extra wear and tear insurance. It's a thousand dollars extra. Okay. Um, it, it was loaded to the max and I wanted 500. Uh, I want payments at 500 a month with nothing down. You're getting the car. So that's your down payment. He said, let me call my manager. He texted me five hours later. Yeah, we can do it. Nice. Can't, can't hurt to ask. No, I, you I said, I'm ready. Told him what the deal is going to be. And I, and I told the guy, I am ready to make a commitment today. Okay. Guess what happened? Guess what I crew? What emotion did I create in him and his manager? Well, certainty and the fact that they're going to get paid today. They're going to get the deal today, the contract today. It's done. But I wanted, but, uh, you know, reciprocity. I'm doing this for you. I'm going to make a commitment today, but this is what I want from you. And I want an answer today. Got it. When you have power, you have to use it. Okay. And in sales, if it, if sales is about most people, like I said, sell intellectually. Oh, we're a wonderful company. We've been in business for 30 years. We have a beautiful office. We have this and that and everything that. That's fine, but it, it puts them back into that sleeping, that somnambulistic state. 
when you make it emotional with pattern interrupts, now you got them awake. Now you're getting them emotionally involved. Close me and make it very emotional on the, let's change it up a little. Let's make it something different. Um, I'm driving a, a 15 year old Hyundai and I'm in, uh, I'm in real estate sales. Okay. Okay. And you need, and you need to sell me a brand new, what's your favorite car? What's your dream? Uh, car? Let's sell you uh, well, I mean, we're not going to go exotic. Let's sell you uh, a Nissan GTR sports car. Okay. Is that now remember I'm a sales Actually, guy. Yeah, no, no, no. So for a client, let's sell you a, a BMW three series. I love the B oh, I love BMWs. Great car. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Th these are beautiful cars, man. I've, I've heard so my neighbor got a BMW here two weeks ago. I keep looking at it. Um, you know, and I got this Hyundai outside. It's, you know, it's got 180,000 miles on it, but the damn thing still runs. I know. Claude, well, Claude, first of all, thanks for coming in. And uh, you know, your neighbor couldn't have give you the a better advice to come to our dealership today, but the, the one yeah, I thought I'd I take a, I'm just I'm just looking, you know. Yeah, no, I understand you just looking. I mean, what I was thinking when you tell me about the Hyundai outside that's been so good to you is why you're even coming in here today. <laughs> well, tell you the truth. Um, I'm in sales. Um, uh, oh God. <laughs> I just got a notification. A guy just told me he's sending me twenty five thousand dollars. Just came <laughs> just came across my screen. Uh, I was waiting. It just came. You know those notifications? Yeah, yeah. That's gonna make Mrs. Diamond very happy. Um, well, there's a, a down payment towards another car. <laughs> yeah, that really happened though. I'm sorry, I had to stop. That is you great. Hear that oh, that's great. Did you hear the bing? The I bing did. just congratulations. Went Thank you. Thank you. That was, I, I was 75% sure, but I, I thought I was going to hear from the guy yesterday. He had until today and it just came across. Wow. Awesome. Thank you. You brought me luck. Um, back in the role play. Um, you know, I'm in sales and uh, sometimes uh, I got to pick up customers. I got to go to the property. And I think, that, you know, I'm not a materialistic person, but when they look at that car, it's got some rust and some dings and dents and everything. I don't think they're, I mean, I keep it real clean and everything, but I don't think they're, I think they make a judgment on me based on my car. Yeah, Claude, I can definitely tell you're not that materialistic type of person. I'm an old uh, hippie, man. I mean, yeah. I'm an old hippie kid, you know? Right, right. And you know, me personally, I've had cars like that before and I just get emotionally attached to them and I just don't want to let them go. But let me, let me tell you something. I'm the same way. Yeah. You know, imagine, imagine you do have that client in the car and I've had this happen to me before. And I got to tell you a story. They were in the car, they were in the passenger seat and we get to the property Claude. <laughs> what do you think happened when they tried to open the door? um all my beer cans fell out or something <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one Claude. no it wasn't that they, they tried to open the door handle and it wouldn't open anymore i never oh, had that yeah. problem before and i had to go out i was so embarrassed to the other side of the car open the handle and let them out of the car i mean you don't think that could happen with your hyundai now could it yeah it can happen it can happen okay yeah it's, it's embarrassing and i think people make judgments on me and stuff like that. Well, I mean, you shouldn't feel bad about yourself. Like you said, you're not a materialistic person. It's a good car to you. Well, and I could, you know, the, um, okay, off the role play, you're doing really well. What You have to find a need, create a need, or exacerbate a need. What's another need you could put in this? I could make more money. Mm. Maybe maybe driving a new car. I Maybe I'd get new customers, new people wouldn't judge me. Remember I told you the judgment thing? Right. Okay, judgment. stuff like that. Maybe, uh, in the, uh, do I have kids? <clears throat> uh, maybe vanity, vanity's an emotion. Hey, Claude, what, you drive up in a beautiful new BMW to a new prospective client. What do you think goes through their head when they see a car like, a 2022 car like that? They, they think success. See how you could close on that, Claude? Don't you want people to see? Uh, maybe you're a, you're not a materialistic guy, but don't you want to see people? Don't you want people to see you as successful? What would that look like? 
Yeah. What would I, mean, quality, I know it's not you, but unfortunately, a lot of the world, they just look at the visual and based on if other people have new things that they would like to have at some point, that's how they view their success level. So, I mean, just imagine yourself. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Just imagine okay, let's yourself. Can, can we look at the numbers on this thing? I'm, you know what, you, can I trade in my other car and, 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 and maybe can you help me with the financing on this? Sure, Claude, we could take a look at all that. I mean, is this something you definitely want to do though? You, it sounds like that car's been good for you. I need to look at the numbers and stuff. You know, I, my wife might kill me, but I love this car. And uh, you know, if, if, if you can make this work in my budget, I think we can do something today. Great, Claude. I'm glad that you're open to, to looking at this car and seeing if we could work out a deal. And you mentioned your wife too. I mean, what do you Don't think? Don't worry about her. Say? Work on the budget real okay. quick. 30, 30 seconds. Work on the budget and close me in 30 seconds. You, so, this is your so magic Claude, moment. Claude, suppose we could trade that car in. You could get the value that you think that car is worth. We can get you payments that you can manage each month. And you could pull up for that new that client's house and that new BMW. What would you want to do next? Uh, you got a deal, man. If you can make it work, uh, you know that that I'll yes, we'll do that. Fantastic, Claude. I mean, you have boom. You just closed me. You just closed me in one move, without being pushy, intimidating, or anything else. Yeah. It, now all you have to do is get qualify a little bit more on the money. What can you afford per month? How much do you want for the car? If you can make it work, would you do uh, 36 months, 48 months, 60 months? You make it all work. You already have a commitment up the yes ladder. Right. And you've, you're, you're in the process of closing him right now. You didn't talk about the engine, the cubic centimeters, the new the transmission system. You didn't talk about the windshield washers in the rear. You didn't talk about any of the academic intellectual part things of this car the all you what did you talk about it was all about emotion yes the other stuff is the icing on the cake but it does it's not going to help you as much to make a decision as the emotional selling and the power of suggestion and using the five senses to paint a picture in their head that's gut selling that's the shit that can make you rich so what I, what I got to get better at is not going on and on and just getting to the points that you want to talk about and that are important to you. You've got to find my, 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 co my core, my center, my emotional, the EQ, the emotional quotient. Once you know what makes me tick and you get me emotionally involved, you're going to get yeses. You're going to, uh, sometimes you know they have the need and the money the motivation, it's timely, and they have the character. Sometimes you know the qualification, which you brought up in the very beginning of this conversation. Uh, you got to know, I mean, you could give a, you could make this guy real. I mean, everybody wants, a, everybody wants a Porsche, but how many people can afford it? 